this video, I'm going to show you how to post projects and needs on the Switch Pitch Connect platform, which is a startup engagement management platform that large companies use to connect with early stage innovation. And so when you create an enterprise account, you'll arrive at your the enterprise homepage. And from here, we're gonna to wanna to go to the projects section. And projects is where you go to view any projects that you've created and create new projects that you'd like to push out to our startup community, which currently reaches about 15,000 startups globally. We get a question a lot, what is a good project? And, or just what is a project? And qualifying projects have three characteristics. Number one, there's a budget associated with it. So it's a budgeted need. Number two, there's an immediacy to it. So if you found a solution, you would be ready to move forward. And three, a willingness to work with an early stage company. So projects typically fall into three categories. There's innovation projects, which are sort of bleeding edge, uh, a need that may be a little bit further out. Then there's business development projects, which are coming from other departments and their needs that you have right now that fill a hole in your current offerings. And then procurement, which you might think is a, an interesting one to list on Switch Pitch Connect. However, even if you're looking for something mundane like a, a new HR platform, it is worth it to check out what the newest innovation is in, in that space, regardless of what you're looking for, because innovation's happening in every sector, in every field. And so even if you think you wanna go with an enterprise solution with a vendor that you've heard of, you may wanna post a project on Switch Pitch Connect to see what's out there. Now we're going to post a project. You can see the projects that we listed. There's also a project directory where you can search through other projects that have been posted that are no longer live. Uh, but for now, we're gonna focus on posting a project. So when you post a project, you start here, post a project. This is gonna be online only. And when you post a project, you're taken to a three-step process where we put in the details of the project. And so this project that we're going to create today is for a demo account here, and it's a big data company. And so we're going to have a project called Big Data Visualization Tool. Now. The purpose of this project is to come up with a tool that will allow us to easily visualize all of the big data that we're gathering and turn on and off different pieces of data so that you can see by region, time zone, all of the different variables that we're collecting, find different hidden nuggets of, of interesting correlations. And so we're going to choose the analytics big data category. However, if there wasn't a category relevant, we would just choose other, and then we could create our own category here. So, but we're gonna use the predefined category so that it lines up with what startups are looking for. And these category lists are also matched to what, what startups select on their profiles so that we can push projects out to relevant startups. Now, posting a project comes in three flavors. And the, the question we get the most is from large companies is regarding confidentiality and showcasing proprietary needs. What we tell them is if the need is so proprietary that it's core to your business, don't post it here. This is not the venue for that. That said, projects can frequently be presented at a higher level rather than getting into the details. Something like, we know we want to end up here and we're open to how we get there. Nothing specific is revealed and it's open to interpretation by startups and you might receive submissions from startups that are not relevant to what you're thinking. However, you might see some really interesting things that you hadn't thought of. So in this case, there's three different options. We can make this public, private, or anonymous. And actually with the account level that I'm signed up for, private is not one of the options, but you can do public and anonymous uh, here. And if you do anonymous, then you can describe how you want your company viewed, a big data company. And then when it was posted, it would say a big data company is looking for, rather than the name of our company, which is data company demo. So, but in this case, we're gonna do public. This is public and that means that it will go out to 
all startups that have access to our platform, and that number is about 15,000 currently. And so the project summary, we're going to put the de the, some of the high-level details of the project, and then there's some tips here that you can look at that will show you some high-level projects that summaries that have been done with previous projects and presenters. So we're going to put uh, our project summary here, and then in the project details, we're going to put more details. And again, you can see samples of project details from previous projects to give you an idea. This is all formatable, so you can make bold or bulleted and make it formatted to look nice. The budget on this one, we're not sure if there's going to be an off-the-shelf tool out there already or if there's going to be something that we need to have custom developed. So we're not going to put a budget because if there's an existing tool, then it might be a very different pricing model than if we're having it built. So we're just gonna leave it at to be determined, although there are options to put specific budgets. We're gonna say that the bids are due by the end of the year and we would like the project to start uh, sometime towards the end of January. The duration of this project, we're probably looking at about three to four weeks, so we'll put four weeks. Then we do have a video that we want to include, which will show up on the project page. So we're gonna put that link here, and then we're going to tag this with uh, big data. You can start to type in analytics, visualization and see if it doesn't appear then you can add it and so these are the tags that are searchable by startups so then we're gonna go here we have PowerPoint presentations that you can download and it'll give you a template that's very sort of plug-and-play what you would put in is the details of the project just pop it in here and then you can re-upload this PowerPoint template here but we already have a PowerPoint created that we're going to use um, so we're just going to insert our PowerPoint uh, presentation here. Okay, so there we put our presentation in. Now we get to the next page where we can select questions that the startups will answer when they're responding to our project. And so startups can view the project, they'll see the video, they'll see the PowerPoint that I uploaded, and then we can create custom questions and these are questions that will help me decide if a, a startup is qualified to do the project. So what I really want to know is I want to know other projects they've done. So provide a few examples. But then I want to I want to put in something specific of uh, have you developed a technology, uh, current technology, or are you going to be uh, is available? or are you developing a custom solution? That's really important to, for, for our need. Um, then we wanna get some background on the company. We'd like to know the history of it. And then uh, how many paying customers do they have? We can add additional questions if we need to, but in this case, we don't. Then we can continue on. And what will happen is we'll be able to post the project uh, to our entire audience. It does take the, uh, the PowerPoint a little while to upload um, and show. There's our video um, and there's the questions. And so raw data, da, da, it looks good here. The budget, the due date, everything is looking good. And so we're going to continue or we could save it as a draft. And now it is submitted. So. It says, thanks so much for completing your, the submission of your project. Uh, you'll be hearing from Switch Pitch about your submission shortly. And so now what happens is it comes to Switch Pitch. We review it, make sure that it looks good. We have an opportunity to provide any feedback or suggestions. And assuming everything looks good, then we push it out. And it goes to our audience of startups for them to review and apply. And that is how you post a project on Switch Pitch. Thank you for watching.